In an empty live project, create one by selecting File, New Live Set. Use the View Switcher buttons or your computer's Tab key to switch to Arrangement View. Set the BPM of the session to the required tempo by clicking or dragging on this value. We're going for 108 beats per minute. In the Categories section, select the Instruments tab. Then select an instrument to use. We're going for the Wavetable Synth, a new addition in Live 10. Drag the instrument onto the MIDI track to load it. Once loaded, ensure that the Record Arm button is lit up red so you can hear the sounds as you play the keys or pads on your MIDI controller. Open the Wavetable submenu and choose a suitable preset. They're divided into subcategories according to instrument type. Click the blue headphone button to enter preview mode so you can hear the sounds as you flick through them. We've ended up plumping for the Colossus Guitar preset from the Synth Keys section. Double click its name to load it. Make a new MIDI clip by left clicking and dragging on a MIDI track to the number of bars that you want the new clip to be. This one is going to be two bars long. Right click on the highlighted area and select Insert MIDI Clip from the pop-up menu. You can also use the Shift Command M keyboard shortcut to do this. The thin grey bar with triangles either end in the ruler section is known as the loop bracket or cycle region. Click and drag the loop bracket to position it. Then extend it to the required loop length. To loop the clip, either right click it and select loop from the menu, or click the loop button in the transport bar. Drag the device view area's upper boundary upwards to expand the piano roll display so we can see what's going on more clearly. Press the B key on your keyboard to enter draw mode and click to draw in some notes in the position shown. Click the blue headphone icon to hear the notes as you draw them in. If you make a mistake, simply click an existing note once more to delete it. The notes are entered at the default length dictated by the current grid value, which in this case is 16th notes. To change the length, use the Command A keyboard shortcut to select all the notes, then drag the right edge of one of the notes to the left to shorten all of them to about half of their original length. With the notes still selected, hit B again to turn draw mode off. Hold down the Alt or Option key on your computer keyboard and drag the whole part up to the notes above as shown here. This copies the single line you just programmed to make a series of two note chords. But something's wrong. The notes highlighted here are the wrong pitch. Shift click to select the wrong notes. To move them down a semitone to the correct pitch, simply drag them to the correct position, one semitone lower. Or alternatively, just tap the down arrow key on your computer keyboard to nudge them down a semitone. Similarly, a tap on the up arrow will shift notes up a semitone. 